Hello, hello and welcome. Um, today I'm going to be showing you a few of my images which I've created lately, of which I'm going to be pulling them up for you to have a quick look at now. I'm going to run through roughly the actual original images that they were made from. I'm uh, not going to sort of run through exactly how I created them um, because um, in iColorama you play around with the settings and you can't remember what you did um, but it'll give you an idea of what can be created um, from an original image. Now something I'm really uh, excited about which I've um, just started doing is I purchased a couple of um, glass plate negatives um, off eBay and they sort of stem back to the 30s, 40s I think and uh, they uh, were considered uh, in the day a little bit risque um, they're certainly not now <laughs> but uh, back in the day they probably were but I thought I would um, something different for me have a little play with them and see what we could do. So I'm going to be showing you those two plates and uh, the images that I ended up um, getting from them. The other few are from um, some flowers that I took. I haven't been taking pictures of flowers for years um, but I thought I would uh, try this um, particular um, style um, which I haven't done before. Uh, some of them were taken uh, just in some gardens and uh, the others um, I put on a, a light box and took them off those but I'll explain that as we get to them. Now as far as the glass plates go I'm going to show you um, the two plates uh, now. So these are the two original um, plates and the first thing we had to do with these was obviously convert them into a positive um, digital file. Now uh, there's various ways of doing this, um, scanners um, and uh, I, I'm not really into to all the methods but the way I did it, and a lot of people say it's the best way of doing it as well, was to put them on a light box or light pad and uh, put the camera on a tripod with a macro lens that I used and just take a, a picture of them, which seemed to work really, really well. Um, the next thing you have to do is I put them into um, a Photoshop Elements uh, and I think there's a lot of uh, sort of editing software out there that will uh, do this, um, but just inverted them, which has turned these two into um, a, a positive image. And then I just crop them, uh, keeping the uh, black border because I thought that uh, sort of suited the image quite well. So yeah, that's that's now our images that we can uh, play around with. And these two images um, I have created um, from this image, um, which I was quite pleased with. And the uh, second plate, which was this one, I created these three images. Now these were pretty much all done in iColorama. Um, I can't go through all the stages with you um, because it took me hours to sort of get them right. But it gives you an idea of, of what you can sort of create from it. And as I say, I'm, I'm really loving, you know, I, I was quite surprised at the um, a final outcome from these glass plates. Um, so yeah, really enjoying that. Now the next uh, four images I'm going to show you um, were of some flowers that were taken um, in a field and uh, I haven't taken flowers for a long long time. Um, certainly I've never done it in this style 
Um, but right from the very beginning, I knew I wanted to uh, turn them into a black and white. And I wanted the flowers to be white and the background to be black. So when I went to the field, I had to take a white sheet with me. Uh, I put behind uh, the first two um, were uh, created from these two images. Um, and I put a, a white sheet behind them so that the white background would turn black and the daisies and the stems would turn uh, white. So once I'd taken those, I brought them back and inverted them and then just played around with them in iColorama until I got these uh, two final images, which I was pleased with. The second two um, were created from these two images. Uh, again, um, uh, putting them together in uh, layers and um, inverting them and playing around with them in iColorama and uh, ended up with these two. So yeah, I was um, pleased with those again. Now these next three images, um, uh, as soon as I bought this light pad to do the, um, the glass plate photography, I thought I would um, have a little play uh, with it with some flowers on. So I went and picked some um, bluebells, which were outside my house and I, I sort of put them on the light pad and played around with them and ended up with this image here. Uh, and then inverted them um, again in um, Photoshop Elements. And I also um, put a textured background on these, um, which is this texture I used. Um, for uh, these two and the uh, this last image I used this texture for it which ended up giving me this image which I was again quite pleased with so yeah something a little bit different um, it's always worth trying different things so there we have quite a few images that I have created of late. Um, I hope you like them. Um, something a little bit different and something may give you ideas. Uh, there's actually a, um, a batch of 50 glass plates up for sale on um, eBay at the moment, um, which I'm bidding on. If I actually end up getting those, they are going to keep me pretty occupied for a long time. So yeah, watch this space to see what I create from those. Um, so yeah, thanks very much for watching. Um, hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, and um, until the uh, next batch of images, which I think are worthwhile showing you, uh, this is John Dexter saying bye for now.